Hey everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make another hand bed here. It's good for kids. I'm making this for my um, my niece. And the size of the interface and I use heavyweight, or you can use midweight if you like. So the size of this is 12 inches wide and 14 inches and half long. I'm folding the 12 inch in half. The, the fold is in front of me and this is the two. This is very simple. So on the bottom up here, you go on to mark five and half inch. That's five and half inch. The measurement is shown on the screen, everyone, when you're watching it. A lot of people watching my video and ask me what the measurement is right there. So from there, from the five and half inch, you go on to bring it in two inches. So mark the two in there and then on the top here you also bring it like mark the two inch right there and now so from here down from the two inch down you go on to come all the way down just draw the line so you can cut half the just like that and then on the top here down an inch and half you're gonna mark right there on the top here you also have to mark an inch and half so that way you know where to stop, where to curve. Okay, like that. Okay, curve that a little bit. Now go ahead and cut this out. There you have the template like this. So now this is the sticky side. I'm gonna place it on the back side of the main fabric and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to make sure that I have a quarter of an inch seam allowance all around so I'm going to cut it out here a quarter of an inch after I iron in here. One after I cut out this one around with a quarter of an inch all around and then I trace on the lining and I cut another one like this okay so I have two and now I have the four by six inches interface interface and I fold this way this and then you place it in here if you have a quarter of an inch all around after that you're gonna iron on it and then you're going to cut this out and then the other one right here Make sure you have an extra around and then right after that you're going to cut cut an extra around okay so now after i have cut you don't need to go straight line because you're going to follow the interfacing and you're going to sew this is the this is the fold and this is the two opening on the top so you're going to sew from the top down go to the fold go to here and then go up leave the top open and um same thing to this one do exact the same go from the top all the way down go down to the fold go up i also cut this for the handle and this is three inches by 22 inches long so you're going to fold it in half You're gonna fold it in half and iron it. After that, you're gonna top the the top here all the way, and then the bottom here all the way. So everyone, after I sew the the handle here, I'm gonna put that on the side. And with this, we're going to trim around, and then we're going to inside out. But when you trim it, leave the top, the opening part alone. Don't trim that part.
you're gonna top stitch this part. Do this one exact the same. So everyone, after I top stitch in these two pockets right here, I'm going to add it into the lining. So you can see that where we mark the line right where we cut right there, you can fold it up and make sure this is make it easier. I'm just doing this for the beginner. I fold it down where exactly it is like that and then press like this. Okay. And now you have this line right here and this line right here. Okay. And then you're going to fold it this way. This is the flap and this is the line that we just folded down. You're going to mark down a one inch from that. Fold in this in half. That the center. You're going to place it right at the one inch. Very cute. On this side, on the bottom up, you're going to bring it down an inch in half. Do exact the same for this. The one with the top stud, you're facing up. So you can see that Mickey facing each other. If you have a fabric like mine. So place it in. On this curved side, you're going to sew this line down and this line down and this line down. If you want to divide this pocket, you can sew the straight line in the middle. And on this side right here at the straight line, you're going to sew from this side on the right, go down to the bottom, go up on the top. And again, if you want to divide, you can sew this line. Okay, so everyone after I sew on this, and then on here, I'm dividing this too. So we're gonna fold this in half so we can add the magnet button. The curve here, you can just press it like that. And then you're gonna want to measure from the curve down an inch and a quarter. Right, an inch and a quarter. And I have the magnet button that I'm going to use that for. So go in the back and then I have the interface and you just go and iron on it. I just want to make sure that I have an extra protect on here. And that is that. This main side we're going to go from this side. We're going to fold this way. Make sure it's even. You're going to go an inch and a quarter, mark right there. Now, on this side, the straight side here, you go going to bring it in one inch. You're gonna mark one inch on the side of the straight and then one inch is from this side too. So the strap you're gonna add it one side here and then turn this around so it won't twist. Turn in this way like this and then place the other end in here just like so. Alright, so you're gonna bring back this line and piece, face this side up, and then bring this over and place it on top of it.
So on the straight line, leave, leave about three inches. Now you're going to follow the interface and on the side here, follow and so right next to it, not on it. So all around, go all around on the top, go down, go down this way, go all the way to here. Leave this open so you can inside out. Everyone after I sew all around and I left it here open. So go ahead and trim this around. After you are done, you go ahead and top stitch the whole side this straight line. You want after I top stitch in this line, I'm going to turn into this side. This one right here, you're going to turn into this side, then this one do the same thing. So fold in this way, like that. You're gonna make sure it's straight up like that. That's one side, and then this side right here, you're gonna do exact the same. So turn into this way. Make sure it's go right at the corner too. Just like that. Now very close to the side here, you're gonna sew this little thing on the side right here. So every one after I sew on this one in and then this one, you're going to sew this side go around to here so go on to turn this way very easy like this okay make sure you go right sharp at the turn right here like this so it's like straight So now that one side and then go to the other side. You're going to do exact the same, turn in this way. Okay, so now you go on to sew. Let's just put this in here so it, it will not go on to go crazy. You're gonna sew on this side, you're gonna go all the way, all the way here. You're gonna top stitch the flap, go all the way to the other side, and then sew down to this way. So it's very close like this one. So you can see what I'm talking about. We sew on this, and now we use this. You can press with your fingernail or you can iron it down. It's all up to you. Just right here, sew it down, and then the other side, sew this down. I finish everyone and it look like this okay so you sew in the sew line on the side right here and on the side right here and then the strap it go right there the credit card on this side and then you can place the phone in here if you don't want to die so place your phone in here so cute this is good for my knees you're gonna love it stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for watching continue to support my channel like share and subscribe and also click on the bell notification so every time i upload a video you get notified stay safe love you